Hello guys, welcome back to Lovers Kitchen. If this is your first time, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and hit your ring bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Today I'm going to share with you guys this um delicious um recipe. Um we're going to have it for dinner right now. As you can see, here I'm in my family. We're going we're already, you know, working on it. And it looks like my husband really, really like it. He was really, really hungry, so and that's my plate um yeah i like bread so i eat most of the bread that's some hummus left over because uh, last night we did um, a takeout so i have some leftover from the hummus from last night and of course i don't really eat lettuce but guys avocado oh my goodness yes that's all me i didn't even give my husband any avocado i think or maybe i put some a little bit on his plate but yeah anyways guys um what do you need to make this anyways this is like my best friend always make this um pretty much it's all the same i don't know if i had anything different but we'll see guys um and by the way guys as i'm making this i'm thinking does this make sense or should i add more stuff or you know so work with me guys it's something i'm just making all i know is you know like usually my best friend um in Morocco, they like um stuff like this so they like a lot of meat and then you potatoes so pretty much yeah so yeah guys um um so as you can see i'm already um cutting my meat um you need to cut the meat like not small small as you can see i'm doing it it's not like tiny tiny so just like the way i'm doing it and guys we're using a pressure cooker so um, if you don't have one just use your stove the only thing is you have to add a lot of water because um you want um the meat to cook really really soft that's the only problem and oh my god guys if you don't have a fridge or cooker you need to get one like it's a lifesaver i'm serious guys i have mine now for like two years i think also and even my fridge or cooker my best friend got me to get it so and yes i love it um i don't use it a lot i only use it when i'm trying to make something fast and also you know something like this so that's my meat as you can see my meat i clean it really well guys so make sure you clean your meat really well and then you're going to need two onions um you can cut the onion however you want to and then i didn't add all of the onion so i only add more than half of the onion so um and then now that's some garlic oh my goodness guys so that was the only garlic i thought i had but thank god i went into my pantry and then i found one more oh, i will have lost my mind because you need a lot of garlic for this even though i have the the powdered garlic but that is not gonna cut it you know you only use the powdered garlic when you're like not making something meat this much you know what i mean anyways guys um that is black pepper and then just add some and then um so wait you guys i'm talking too much in english <laughs> And then that is some seasonings. That is um, Maggi. So you can use any Maggi. And yes, guys, you need curry. Um, Tamaric, right? Yes. But you need curry, guys. Like, so much. I didn't even add a lot. I know um, my best friend, she add a lot of curry in there. Because for her, she does it. So right now, guys, as I'm doing this, I'm mixing it. And I'm thinking... Hmm, I feel like hmm, I need think I need to add something. I was like, hmm, what should I add? You know, that's just the way it is. Um, when you love to cook and sometimes you like to create stuff, you always have to, you know, kind of think deeper, think about how it's going to test. So yeah. And then now I'm going ahead and add all the potatoes. As you can see, I didn't cut them tiny, tiny. I only cut them in half. And then I'm adding the seasonings again. So I only add like half. And here you go, guys mia yes i added some red stew because i was like hmm i feel like it's gonna taste better with it and you know i always have my red stew in the fridge so i added some and then now i'm adding the rest of the onion and the reason why i even the seasonings i didn't add everything at once because i want to make sure even the potatoes have you know some seasonings in them so yeah guys um after you add all of that in there <laughs> you just mix it really well <laughs> don't mind me my husband is making fun of me <laughs> i'm doing voiceover but yeah guys um so guys mix it really really well 
like nai juya nama na nai mix and inshu so say the so say because um the one the one thing i don't really like about um pressure cooker is that um ruwae na yewa achiki sometimes so sometimes it then um nama ko whatever you are going to make um it then baka mix and inshu say ba kuma yeji enough seasonings um say ho ka abinchi iru mwani iri it doesn't taste the best I've used it so many times, so I've noticed that. So say, and if you um use pressure cooker, let me know down at the comment um at the comment section. Um, do you get the same problem sometimes, or is it just me? As you can see, I didn't add bua kukada. One day chicken naman is enough. So uh, that's one thing again with the pressure cooker if you're using it. But kunga idang I can't stop matanzi. I can gas. That's when you have to use um, see what you about what they wash. But anyways, gosh, in the recipe, um, I cover it and then I'm just timing it to see. So, and then after that, I will start to think um, what is next. Um, it's I'm gonna be making the rice, I believe. Um, so that's another thing. Um, anyways, guys, you know what? I will just um take you guys along, um, to see um which rice are we going to eat this with so i'm here thinking um should i use uncle bean rice um it actually um should cover the mickey and jollof rice the eater kukuma um basmati on the side and then i also um jasmine rice right um akasa akang uh in the pantry i was like oh perfect i think um jasmine rice will be perfect seriously guys i had this rice for i think a year I hardly use um jasmine rice because I have long long grain rice for um for oh my god for masa sanasa or two and then I have um basmati you know for day to day stuff but anyways guys long story short um I'm going ahead and <laughs> cook the rice one thing with jasmine rice is if you add too much water um it's not gonna look good it's gonna be way too sticky. So you have to make sure you make it the right way, follow the instructions. And by that, I mean, um, so one cup of um, jasmine rice, you need um, one and a half cup of water. So I'm going to be making um, two cups of jasmine rice. So for that, I need three cups of water. So guys, that is um, three cups of water. And then I added some olive oil and then I added some salt. And then now I um, added my wash rice. Make sure you wash your rice, please. Because I know some people don't wash their rice. <laughs> Adi, you know yourself. <laughs> because I know you're going to watch this video. <laughs> Guys, I'll tell you this story another time. So, and then you only gotta let it on the stove for 15 minutes. Actually, like after like 10 minutes, come and shake it and touch it if it's if if the rice is soft then you're good to go if it is not soft then you just let it again cook for like um three to five minutes again so total of 15 minutes guys do not let jasmine rice cook more than 15 minutes so see you guys rice is done and then now it's been a little bit like more than an hour and then i'm back so look at that guys by the way the house smells really really good um, like I told you already at the beginning, my husband has been waiting because it's already 8.30. So, um, late dinner, you know, because we tried to go to bed like at 9.30 or 10. But anyways, <laughs> I was going to use that and I was like, oh my God, no, no, that's not a good idea. Because, um, banas wooden kaling, you you cook curry. I don't even know if that's a good house. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, guys. It's really soft. I just um touched the meat and I was like, oh, perfect. It's perfect, guys. And then now I just tested it and it tastes good. So yeah, um, I was just wondering if um like it, the seasonings was enough, but it was perfect. So I don't have to worry about adding more seasonings because that's one thing with pressure cooker. You don't know until after, you know, um you're done and then you kind of like, uh, you know, you know what I mean. So, anyways, um. I, that's my husband's plate so yeah guys we're all done for today and then um so um because i cooked a lot um i will show you guys um two days later what i end up doing with the leftover so guys um 
this is me trying to say, you know, you don't always have to cook every day. You can cook, you can cook something and then the leftover, you can make something else with it. Especially something like this, you know, it's very easy to make. Also, you have some in the fridge left over. All you have to do is think about it. What should be the best way to do this? So anyways, um, this is two days later, guys. Okay, so um, and I will show you guys what I did. And look at this, guys. So um, as you can see, um, this is the same thing we had two days ago. So I just put everything in the in the pot, and then I'm just giving it two minutes, um, to warm up a little bit. And then as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, should I add coconut milk or should I add um heavy cream? And somehow, guys, I didn't um show the part where i was adding um um heavy cream so i decided to add heavy cream because if i open coconut um i cannot add all of it so i have to leave maybe like more than half and i don't want to do that so i added heavy cream guys um as you can see it on the side right there but yeah i sorry guys i missed the part where i added and then i just cook rice again the same rice just mean rice and then yeah voila we have dinner guys easy peasy and i was rushing to finish and then uh, because I, I had to go get um my booster so um that's what happened guys and look at that guys you have another um meal for you know two days later and also it tastes different you know my husband doesn't mind eating leftover whatsoever but even if your husband or your family really cares they really wouldn't no, you know what I mean? <laughs> because the rice is fresh. It's just um you kinda change the test of your of your stew, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you do please don't forget to comment and like this video. Also share it with your family and friends. And of course if you're new please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.